but you read stuff every day, that doesn't mean you're going to be able to, first of all, comprehend everything. That's true. Come on. But that's what we're here for. Yeah. The Bible says if you don't learn anything, you must what? You must be taught by somebody. You agree with me, yes or no? Yes. Reading this. I, I, yes, you're right about it starts in here. But does not deny the fact that you must put on a shirt. That's right. It, meaning it's right. not either or, it's both. Meaning you must be right here, and you also gotta put on what God commands you. That's right. Remember, how do you love God? Keeping what? Keeping what? Keeping okay. his commandments. Can I, can I, can I? Psalm 19, 19, go real quick, 18. Come on. What about Sirach, chapter 8, 19, verse 18. The fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him. And I can't move past that, sister, because you know what? And that's just him. A lot of people walking up and down these streets that every day, they don't fear God. Think about it. If we were to fear God, there'll be no abortions. That's right. There'll be no drug dealing. There'll that's be no right. drug using. So that's why we can't skip past the fear of we God. We live in a fallen world. But guess what though, we sister? We gotta change world. though. See, when you and you gotta right. change. That's part you of gotta the, change as well. That's part of the process, Cause I'm right? gonna deal with America's judgment, but after that, you gotta learn what to do to fear God. Cause fearing God not I, just words. First of all, I fear God. You're sure about that? Uh, yeah. Guess what? The commandments, by keeping the commandments is how you show. I'm not saying that I'm a I'm perfect all right, so, and nor so are you what? for that matter. No, but guess what though? Perfection <laughs> comes through keeping the commandments. Now, I'm going to read you certain laws that you can do to be another step close to reach perfection. Because perfection is a, is a process. You understand that? It comes in of time. Yes, I know that. So, I'm going to read some commandments for you Wait, so you can know, gain. My brother was going to bring me over. Nah, I know. Because he was going to tell me. I know, but guess what? I'm a Seventh day Adventist. All I'm right, perfect, keeper, perfect. And he says, we're going to show you something about Seventh day Adventists. So, that's why I came over okay, here. Okay, I got you. Psalms 11, verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So now, sister, before you leave, sister, sister, if you want your answer, we'll get to you now. I'll get to you now. Don't leave, sister. But you're old, sister. I hope you understand what the message is. The message is, the message is, in order for you to be accepted of the Lord, the first step is you got to fear God. You got to have that fear and do what keep. And let me explain it to you. Come on. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. So you can't skip the commandments. Right? The fear of the Lord and the beginning of wisdom and understanding of the Bible comes by application of what? Of the commandments. So I was just to stick around. I'm going to deal with the question now. Give me Revelation 18. Is this. Once you read this, I'll read to you how to avoid being part of that judgment because just by saying you love God and saying you believe in Him, that don't make you saved. I, 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 the commandments is what it says. I read the word for myself. You read it every day? Every day. Okay, sister. So I you understand read, yeah. that? You understand pants for a woman isn't the thing to do, right? You Where know does that? it say that? Oh, let's get it. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. I like that question because you see you read it every day and it's fine. We're here, right? We're here for you, but, right? But, you read stuff every day, that doesn't mean you're going to be able to, first of all, comprehend everything. That's true. Come on. But that's what we're here for. Yeah. The Bible says if you want to learn anything, you must what? You must be taught by somebody. Yeah. Right? And that somebody got to be keeping Their the commandments. Adventists say that women shouldn't wear pants. Adventists say that women shouldn't wear pants. Adventists say that women shouldn't wear pants. A few moments earlier. So I'm a Seventh-day Adventist. All right, perfect, keeper. perfect. So I'm a Seventh-day Adventist. All right, perfect, keeper. perfect. I knew it was fake. I knew it. I knew it. Women shouldn't be. I mean, they're she different. Who she is. I got you, sister. Now, so what we're dealing with now, sister, is the attire of woman. What woman should and cannot be wearing. You know, real quick, come on. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth to a man. So the Bible says woman, females should not be wearing the attire that belongs to a man. In Exodus 28, the Bible says he gave the men breeches. I know down south, they used to call pants breeches, right? Because a breech, it divides this. So if Moses gave the males breeches or pants, guess what? Pants is part of that right there. Read the part again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So biblically talking, women, females, should not be wearing pants, jeans, sweatpants, all that. Matter of fact, even so, leggings. So leggings are made to wear underneath 
Yeah, so dress. what about the men who wear, I mean, this looks like this, a, a dress. This, this, is, this is a garment, come on. Now. It's a garment, it's a garment sis, it's, it's not a dress. Look, and look, what happened to me? The Muslim brothers I got my wear, pants. No, right. you're right, what, what Muslims wear, that's wrong. Like, you're talking that skirt they wear? Yeah, that's crazy, we're not, but we're not Muslims. Right. We don't subscribe to Islam. Read the part again, come on. The woman shall not wear that which pertained unto a man. So what we're doing here, sister, is showing you love. Yeah, I got because you. going forward, now this should be back in your mind. Pants? Mm. So let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you a story. Uh -oh. Seventh-day Adventists believe the same deal. Ah, boy, here we go. So when I became a Seventh-day Adventist, I started wearing a skirt. I'm a fitness trainer. I'm inside of Blink 116th Street wearing a skirt. I'm tripping up over a skirt. Right, because I'm a trainer and I have to do certain things, sister, and I'm nearly killing myself. And I said, sis. you know what? Now sis. somebody said now you might. Me, I'm not sure something. So something. Sis, we have a sis, sis. You know, we have a sister within our organization. She also does that for other sisters. Now there's different way, like there's different athletic skirts you can wear. So there's no excuse. We have, we have in our organization a sister that actually does that for other sisters. She's a trainer, That's a fitness right. trainer, and she wears it every day. She wears it all the time. So it's just, well, you know what it is? Give me it's how bad do you want it? And I got you. Once you come to no, our school and all that. I, I had it bad enough that I wore a skirt into to train people. Yeah, that's what you got to do. And it wasn't Since my wife goes to the gym, my wife, my, wife, my wife works out. You know what she wears to us to the gym? A skirt. Yeah. I'm mad. Since my wife, my wife goes to the gym. Jewish she goes to the gym with a skirt, sis. Um, I'm not saying my wife to the gym with no leggings, no pants. That's wrong. That's sin. That, that's that's right. against the commandments. So she goes to the gym, she wears a skirt. That's right. You understand that? That's my wife. So I can speak to I can tell you how she do things. Now read the part again. Come on. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So the point is, sister, is what you're wearing right now, that's outside God's order. So going forward, what you gotta start doing is you gotta start wearing your skirts and now, your dresses. Up, me, and it's both ways. Watch this, watch this. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So you said it's not only for the females, but any male, any man that wears skirts, dresses, right? That's a homosexual, whatever. That's wrong too. Let, let me come let on. Now, what, 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 I'm gonna show you what, why it's important. Remember, you said fear, you fear God, right? Now, look what God, look what God says when you do this. For all that do so, Meaning, are, for all those that cross dress, women in pants, men in skirts, for all that do these things, are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. You know what's an abomination? Hey, yes, yeah. detestable. Right. So, you as a fear, a fear, a God fearing sister, what must you do then? Let me ask you this. This uh, is what I'm going to tell you. No, I'm gonna, no, I'm not going to tell you how I think about this. Right. So there are people in my church who wear long dresses. They have their heads covered and their hearts are hard. Right? So one of the things when you said it's a process, right? The process is the heart. You can harp on the outside. You can wear everything that you consider is not an abomination. But if you have hate in your heart and, and, and the fruit of the spirit is not in you, what good is it for me to have a long skirt on and a doily on my head if I don't have the fruit of the spirit? Sis, guess what? And this is character. No, no, sis, guess what? I'm gonna say something straight. And Paul, you're right, because that's why, that's why, sis, so much sis, hold on, the I got, I, no, I, I got you, sis, not. sis, I got you, sis, but no, 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 sis, no, you're let right, let me finish something, let me finish something, the Pharisees who killed Jesus had all the garments, they looked the parts, you understand what I'm saying, and they didn't know Christ when he came, sis, you're right, so, all sister, hold on. I'm agree with you. Sis, like sister, sister, hold on. Sister, you're right. You're right. Me, right. Me, me and this though, sister, me and this, yes. It's not just what you show hourly. Because think about it. You have all these pastors, right? They have the nicest suits. They go into the pulpit. Meanwhile, the back behind closed doors, they're hypocrites. So that's what you have. You have, a, you have two major chapters where Christ talks about hypocrisy. Can I tell but you? no, hold on. But now, sister. That does not deny the fact that you must wear a skirt. Okay. No, no, no. no. I hope you understand. Let, let me tell you. Stop, 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 stop. No, no, no. Do you agree with me? Yes or no? Meaning this. I, I, yes, you're right about it starts in here. But it does not deny the fact that you must put on a skirt. That's right. It, meaning it's right. not either or. It's both. Meaning you must be right here. And you also got to put on what God commands you. That's right. Remember, how do you love God? Keeping what? Keeping what? Keeping okay. his commandments. Can I can I say something? Give me Second Timothy two now. Give me give me Can I say something? 
right? Listen, you're about to throw another excuse now. I know what you're about to no, do. No, no, I'm, I'm not getting, getting an excuse. No, I'm going to tell you something, right? you so about to tell me something. I'm in the third grade at this school right down okay. the street, right? And I have on a skirt, right? Okay. And all of a sudden, I feel something up my, up me, right? It's a little boy putting his hand up my skirt, right? I had to figure this out sitting in an A, a meeting because sometimes we don't know why we have resistance to stuff. You understand okay, what I'm so saying? So, so I'm being so violated. Let me, let me, I'm being violated. Hold on. I'm being violated in the third grade by a kid who's putting his hand. So you're hand. blaming that on a skirt. I'm, I'm telling you so you're why. Blaming, I'm blaming telling that, you you're why. blaming that on a skirt. L listen to me. Sis, yes or no, you're listen, blaming that on a skirt? I am blaming it on being violated by having a skirt. It made me feel exposed. So now, is that the skirt's fault or that's the kid that was not raised properly? It's, it's the experience no, but, of well, a kid. I know, I got you, but is that the, you were in the skirt's fault or the you, lack, you're, you're, you're the lack of raising you're, the you're, child correctly? You're, you're, you're What's the reason, reason though? What I'm saying is people have resistance to stuff for reasons that you okay. don't fathom. Okay, okay, sister, I got That's you. That's what I'm saying. I got you. I got you. I no. took me therapy to figure I got it you, out. Sister. You understand? And now, that's so I don't want. Sister. I don't want. I, I wear. Give me Timothy. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? Two, verse nine. Now I got. So, it, it, so, it, so everything sis, is a process. Sis, and I'm sorry if you went through that pro, to that thing. Right. So, but my point is this, though, sister. The Bible says when you're a new person in Christ, all things are done away with. So now this, once you understand who you are, that you're an Israelite, and all that stuff, even the commandments, all that should go out behind. Now, it didn't take time, but you can't, I think though, sister, if the Bible says you even must wear a skirt, come here, right, sister, you guys we're dealing with this. Shoot her off. We're dealing She's with this. Is that, oh no, that's not true. Not everybody that's a child of God, that's not true. We're dealing okay. with, as women, and as men, there's a, there's a, there's a dress code. Now, you know sister, part of the code based, is not to wear Based on that, sister, well, your, your experience Which does not mean the fact you don't have to wear skirts no more. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry for what you went through, but you still must wear a skirt. You still must wear a dress, sister. Come on, come on real quick, come on. Yeah. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. And like men are also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. That's the New Testament, my brother modest and my apparel. sister. The Bible says that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Modest apparel means what? Covered up. And according to the Bible, how a woman covered up is through what? Skirts and dresses. And I don't talk about no, no tight sundress. Because even though it's a tight sundress, that ain't modest. Or a dress that's up to you, above your knee. Because the Bible says oh, the dress for a woman must reach down below, right here. So it says, read the part again. And like men also, that woman adorned themselves in modest apparel. Now, is that hard to do, sister? It's really not. It's just because we're accustomed to wearing jeans, yeah. pants. But if you really fear God, if you really want to consider yourself a child of God, you put all your personal feelings out the door and do what? Follow what the Bible says. It's like us as men, right? The Bible says you must wear, you must have a beard. Some brothers shouldn't like having a beard. I don't know why, but guess what? It's it's, a, it's beyond my personal opinion. If you fear God, what you'll do? You put your, you'll, you'll make you let your beard grow. Now, sisters, right? The Bible says what again? And like men are also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Like I said, I'm sorry what you went through, but did not deny the fact that you must that you must do what the Bible says. You must put on your modest apparel. And when you read the precept, it's talking about what? Skirts, dresses, right? Meaning covered up. Not no tight sundress, a dress above your knees. No, it's talking about a modest dress. That's what the Bible says. The Bible commands women to do that. You understand that? So that's the message, sister. It's beyond uh, beyond what you went through. And I said that. I'm sorry you went through that experience, but you must still put on that skirt. You must put on that dress if you love God, if you fear Him. You understand that? Yeah. Again. Because uh... well, why not though? Why not? Because my fa family is, is, is family. It's family. not practical. How do you love God? Again, because you say it's not practical, but how do you fear God? How do you love God? First, first John five. How do you love God? Doing what you commanded. Yeah, you're you're married. Yeah. Okay, watch this. I'm, 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 I'm gonna give you a, a carnal example. Let's say he loves you, right? But every night he put hands on you. He beats you every night. Is that love? Well, he said he loves you. Yeah, that's not love. Why not though? He says he loves you. Why isn't it love? You know, supposed to put your hand on the Right, right because that's the, you can't be doing that. And love is shown by your actions. Yeah. Right? That's Same way right. as if she says she loves you, but every night she has to commit adultery on you, sleeping with your neighbor. Is that love? But she says she loves you. Right. 
You understand that? So same thing with the father. So you may say it's not practical, but it's not, it's not by your opinion. No, you it's not what you think. No, it's not. Too. No, it's not. Just saying, if you can understand a carnal example, if you can understand a worldly example, it should be the same way with the father. Watch this. Come on. First John chapter 5, verse 3. But this is the love of God. For this is the love of God, my sister. That we keep his commandments. So in the only way to say you love God by keeping his what? Keeping of the commandments. Part of those commandments is women wearing dresses, women dre wearing skirts, men having their beards, not eating pork. Whole bunch of commandments. And every day it's a fight between your personal, your flesh, meaning yeah. your personal lusts and keeping the commandments. That's what we do. Every day we wake up and we live uh, the most disciplined life we can. You understand? That's what we do. I'm a man myself, I, I get tempted, but guess what? I fear God, meaning in the fringes, that's where you must wear the fringes. This is a daily reminder of keeping in the right path. Right? Damn, sister hit on me, damn, but I'm married. I shouldn't throw come in adultery, damn. Can you that's right. That bacon smell wrong. Damn, but that's Can you read the Ten Commandments? Damn. So the point is this, my brother and family, and there's more than Ten Commandments, is you must learn how to keep God's commandments so you know how to fear Him and love Him. Read the part again. For this is the love of God. That we keep his commandments. Read on. And his commandments are not grievous. What does that mean, my brother? It says, and the commandments are not grievous. What does that mean? Your voice you can't debate it. it. What does that mean? You can't debate it. Meaning, yo, if they're not hard. It's not hard. And now, sister, so you know that, that it should not be about, it's not practical. No. Nah. That's right. Even, says, even though, look, our job is this to turn things in order that are out of order today. Because, yes, society says it's practical for women to wear pants, but the Bible says no. So we're here to turn the things that are out of order back to whose order? That's right. God's order. That's give me Isaiah 55. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.